What is up, ladies and gents? It is the Camper King, the Russian Dream. No muscle mass because I'm built too lean. It's Mr. Firebad. Bringing you guys an infected mob and a how to on getting infected mobs because infection is. Well, not infection, infected. Fuck. It is the. What people consider the easiest mode to get a mob. Because I figure their, uh, what do you call it, their reasoning behind it is because, you know, it's a small, you know, minority against a large majority, which makes people think, oh, it'll be easier to get kills. Yeah, it's easier to get kills, but once it's one against 17, you're kind of fucked, to put it bluntly. But... This was actually a really slow match, so most of the things that I'm going to be saying uh, aren't reflected in this particular game, and the way in which I play the game are not reflective of how you should probably be going about this, because as you'll see later in the match, I have many throwing knives just sort of glide past me, but you know, my skin is covered in a lubricant, so they just sort of slide past, so I'm just like, whatever, it doesn't matter to me. However to you, it should matter, because they probably lock on to most of you like heat-seeking missiles fired from the Russians. That's a Ruski. Anywho. Basics on how to get a mob and infected. Well, to understand how to do that, you have to understand the basics of the game. Infected, everybody's played it. Most everybody, unless you're a TDM fag. Don't be a TDM fag. Uh, it's a whole lot of people. It starts off... 18 free for all okay then one guy gets infected and then he starts infecting everybody else okay whatever that it doesn't start get interesting until you're the minority and they're the majority and that is where this begins you generally want to keep a distance from the people now back when they first introduced infected and they didn't have throwing knives only only throw knives on certain maps or certain matches you didn't really have to worry about that but now that they have throwing knives they can hit you from a distance but most people kinda suck with throwing knives so unless you're going against only use me blizzade you won't really have a problem they're dumb so just don't just don't get close to them that is rule number one stay away from the party alright now you might be thinking well I've got a shotgun what the hell am I gonna do I can't shoot you from far away well, with maps like this where you got a shotgun, it's good to be with more people. Into rule number two, well not rule, just advised on how to get one. Always have a friend. Makes shit a lot simpler. Because if you got a friend, go into you can go into a place where there's only two openings. One of you covers the other opening. Be sure your other friend is competent. This guy right here that I'm playing with, you see him in most of my videos, even though you may not see him directly but I play with him all time and he's pretty competent most of the time and he can take care of his stuff see right there throwing knife whatever sometimes he can't however and I have to reprimand him but that's not what this is about this is about teamwork so as you see we're playing in resistance right now and this building right here is good whenever there's a small amount of people on the enemy team and there's a semi good amount of people on your team because like flies to light and stink on brown, these infected will want to go where the red dots are. So this building right here has two openings. Two people, two openings, you're good. One more. A rule on infected. In the beginning, keep moving. Keep moving. But once you get to where there's a majority of them and there's a minority of you stop moving and you might think well why would you stop moving don't you want to get away from the enemies no you want them to come to you but only see right there that any other situation that would have killed you you only want them to come if there's more than one of you if there's only one of you and you're against 17 and you've got like 23 kills and you want to get it then you just keep running and you turn around occasionally or you drop a C4 and you toss it. Outside of those circumstances, I would not suggest moving. And that, I believe, is the 
three to four step basics on how to get a Moab, M-O-A-B, mother of all bums, massive ordnance air blast in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 infected game mode in the, uh, what is this thing called? Community playlist. And I realize I haven't posted a video in a while, but hey, here's a video. Just, I'm always looking out for you guys. So, as you can see, I got the flawless challenge as well as the challenge. Go challenge. Challenge, challenge.